Hello and welcome to this video, Gareth here from tastytubes.com. In this video, we are going to look at the MIT Media Lab logo, learn a little bit about the logo and the designer behind it. The MIT Media Lab logo was designed in 2014, led by Pentagram's Michael Beirut, born 1957. Michael Beirut is an American designer who is also a design critic and designer. Michael Beirut has won hundreds of design awards and has led the design for popular brand identities such as Hillary Clinton's 2016 campaign, Mohawk, Saks Fifth Avenue, Mastercard and even the Guitar Hero logo to name a few. Michael Beirut's design is not exclusive to branding. He has also created work for environmental graphic design and editorial design. Amongst all of his work, his logo for MIT Media Labs is one of his best known. The MIT Media Lab logo is actually part of a set of 24 different logos. The MIT Media Lab is an umbrella organization which spreads over 24 different departments. What makes the MIT logo interesting was its design approach. Michael Beirut established a 7x7 grid system which he used to create acronym type hieroglyphs for each department. This grid system delivers some interesting combinations with a distinctive visual language. The same grid system is used to create additional visual elements like a complete typeface and an icon set. So what type of logo is the MIT Media Lab? Well, each logo is essentially a lockup combination mark. Each logo includes both a logo mark element in the form of an acronym type hieroglyph and the logo type word mark element. The word mark element in the logo is a bold sans serif typeface and appears to be Helvetica New Bold, developed in 1983 by D. Stampel AG. This font is a reworked version of the original Helvetica, designed in 1957. To quote Michael Beirut on his design, the reason it worked was that it struck a balance between a central theme and the variations. The variations were sufficient to help each of the research groups agenda a sense of esprit de corps. The central theme helped them feel unified that they are all about one big idea, which is the innovation that is enabled by the environment created by the Media Lab overall. So what do I think about this logo? Well this is a real simple execution, yet it's very distinctive and Michael Beirut manages to pull it off in only black and white. I really like the simplicity and boldness of the logo set. Compared to the previous logo system, I think this one is more practical and works really well. They all feel as part of one house. The acronym type hieroglyphs have an abstract aesthetic, so they work really well in patterns and textures and are really striking on business cards and posters when they are used individually. So what can we learn about this story? This logo set was designed in 2014 to replace the previous logo system that had been used since 2011. The previous logo system had 40,000 different permutations. To quote Michael Beirut, So there's 40,000 different versions. I talked to the person who was head of marketing. I said, well, how do you decide which of the 40,000 different versions to use? If someone says, send me your logo, which one do you send them? She said, oh, I just send the same one over and over again. So it's tiresome to manage many permutations of a logo. This was one of the reasons why the logo was redeveloped in 2014. So the previous logo system only really lasted about three years. That is pretty short for a logo lifespan. As interesting, creative and quirky a logo system can be in theory, having multiple permutations of a logo can actually be hard to use. If you'd like to learn more about Michael Beirut and the MIT Media Lab logo set, you can watch him speak about it. Links are in the description. So that is one of many logos and designers I have spoken about. If you enjoyed this video and want to watch more like it, you can see more episodes in the Famous Logos playlist. Link is in the description. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button on my Facebook page. If you'd like to see more videos like this in future, hit the subscribe button. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Tastitudes. So until next time, have fun guys, and I'll see you in the next video.